Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here back with another 2k video and today guys we're going to be going through my club and showing you guys how I've managed to get myself up to the Galaxy Opal board and as you can see in the top right we've actually got over 250 tokens already so we're over a third of the way to our first Galaxy Opal reward card which is so so awesome. As you can see, still not many people have got these cards at all. You've got 750 pretty much with Wilt and just over 500 with James Worthy. So, of course, both of these cards are ridiculously good, but if I do get 750, I will probably wait to see when they add another card to this board because they are pretty much guaranteed to add more throughout the year. They added this James Worthy a couple of months ago. It was just Wilt at the start of the game, but they will add in more, and fingers crossed they're going to add in some better cards. Like, I really hope they do. Someone like a Vince Carter or someone in here, they'd be incredible. Like, a proper good shooting guard or point guard would be fantastic. So I will hold on to my tokens when we get to the 750 car, uh, token mark. So, how did we do it? Well, let's start with the goals as it is on the front page here. So as you can see, these things pretty irrelevant, but you come to here, you get 15 tokens for completing these multiple game ones. Very, very easy to complete. You should get this just by playing the game regularly, by finishing domination, playing a bit of triple threat, doing a couple of challenges, and you'll get yourself 15 easy tokens. This is what gives away that they will be adding in more token cards to that Galaxy Opal board because you get 3,000 tokens as a reward for this. And of course, if there's only two released, there's absolutely no point in the reward being 3,000. But in terms of actually how many tokens it will take for you to get up to this position, so to get through the Emerald, Sapphire, Ruby, Amethyst, Diamond and Pink Diamond reward boards, it will actually take you 1,760 tokens. So <laughs> that sounds pretty daunting at the start. So you need 10 of the Emeralds, which are three each. You need 10 Sapphires, which are six. 10 rubies, which are 12. All of the amethysts, so there's 10 of them at 30 each. Diamonds at 50 each. And then pink diamonds, five of them at 250 each. Oh, actually, there's, yeah, there's five of them. So I've done my maths wrong. So it's actually 2,010 tokens to get yourself from nothing to the Galaxy Opal board. So 2,000 tokens. That is crazy when you think about it. But it is attainable as we have proven by getting to there ourselves. Of course, the main thing you want to do is you want to complete all three of these dominations. It's going to get you a nice, nice bed of tokens, especially in all time. You get so many for this. I believe the number is around 600 for completing all three dominations. So if you do that, you are in a very, very good position to get yourself up through the majority of the early tier boards. You can easily get yourself up to like the Amethyst board just by doing domination and probably get yourself to the diamond board as well in terms of challenges well moment challenges are great when they do come out but they are very few and far between at the moment which sucks weekly challenges definitely not worth your time they were released originally as three token rewards they have boosted them to six token rewards but even still they are still not worth your time i would not recommend doing these they're far too much of a time sink as are the schedule challenges. Again, at the start of the game, there were three tokens. I bumped them up to six tokens. As you can see there, I did one of them when it was six tokens, but even still, it takes so much time. It is so, so boring as well. So many full games just to get six tokens. It's really not worth it, so I wouldn't suggest doing them. Moving on, my team unlimited. Again, not a great way to get tokens, sadly. You do only get 15 tokens, and that is if you go 12 and 0, which of course we know we all know how hard that is, so definitely not a reliable way of making tokens. Like You could just go and aim for 10 wins each time, which would get you 10 tokens. But that's basically one token per My Team Unlimited game, which is not worth it for the amount of stress in that game induces. Let's just head back here to the offline for a sec. Triple threat. I would suggest going through the first couple of boards because you do get five tokens per five games. But after that, the board rewards actually go down to three tokens per board which is so, so annoying. I don't know why they did that to Triple Threat Offline, but, but I would not recommend going in that game mode after you've finished the first few boards and gotten a few tokens for your troubles. Moving on to Triple Threat Online, this is a much better way of getting tokens, and this is going to be your most reliable way of getting tokens as well. Now, of course, you aren't guaranteed to see tokens on any of the boards, but chances are if you go through 10 games, you will see a good couple of boards with some tokens on it. You can get 1, 3, 5 or 10. I've got 10 a couple of times before and that is a great feeling when you get that because getting 10 tokens for one triple threat game sort of negates going through like two entirety of schedule challenges or weekly challenges. So it's so much more worth 
playing these games. They're quick, they're easy, and of course you do get MT rewards for them as well. Moving on to multiplayer challenges. Now, you want to keep an eye on these every week they do drop. So you get 2,500 MT for completing this one, and you get four tokens for completing this. Now, bear in mind, this is on All-Star, but only three-minute quarters online. So three-minute quarters to get four tokens, that is fantastic value for your time in terms of getting a good token output so definitely stay on top of them they were two tokens at the start of the year but when they bumped up the weekly challenges and the schedule challenges they did bump up these multiplayer challenges as well which is fantastic so they are much more worth doing and i would definitely recommend doing them and another massive thing to do is of course to collect a level so you get three tokens which is pretty irrelevant but still helps and you get 10 tokens for the 250 cards and then the big one is 250 tokens for getting to the 1000 card collector level now if you are struggling to get there i did do a video on how i got to ak47 got there nice and easy made money by doing it I actually made a profit in terms of mt by getting to him so the same theory can definitely be applied to getting to 1000 cards and yeah, there's a video dedicated to that down in the description down below. So be sure to check that out if you're struggling. But getting to this 250 tokens is a massive thing to do. It's a massive help if you're going through some boards. That is basically a one pink diamond if you're at that board. Or it's like the entire diamond board. Like it's or oh, half of the diamond board. Sorry, because there's 10 of them. So half of the diamond board just for getting this one collector level. So this is definitely something to keep an eye on. All right, moving past the pack market and the auctions, and we're going into our collection now. So where have we earned the majority of our tokens this year? Well, as you can see here, we have completed fully the Eastern and the Western Conference of the 2019 current collection. So you get 20 tokens for completing each of these teams. So in each conference, that means it is 300 tokens for each conference. So 600 tokens in total. So a very nice little lump of tokens to help you get through the boards. And of course, some of these are quite expensive, but if you do them at the right time, like I did the majority of these, I had quite a lot of them done, but I completed them all when the Kobe packs dropped and the All-Star packs dropped and everyone just went crazy with packs. Silver players' value was down so much. Like some of these were really expensive. I know the Nugget set was very expensive with these three silvers costing an absolute ton, but when these packs came out, everyone was pulling them, so everyone was chucking them up, trying to get rid of them, and you could really get them for a lot cheaper than you would do if you were just buying them at a normal dead point in the game. So definitely keep an eye on the market. Be patient. Work for open bids as well. Don't just go for buy nows. You can definitely get some good open bid value for your money. Moving on to the heat check. And this is something that I have completely avoided this year, as you can see. I did actually start making inroads on a lot of them, but I decided to sell up everything. And that was a great move because, as you can see, I'm sitting with over 350 KMT now, which is absolutely fantastic. And I've still got quite a few more of these to sell. I did nearly have this Rockets one complete. We were just down to James Ennis, I think, that I needed to complete it. But as you can see, there's only one of them up. He was very expensive. Now, you do get 25 tokens for completing these heat check sets, but they are just way, way too expensive. If you have a look here, you've got 8k for um, whoever that was. I can't even remember now. And we've got like 10k for PJ Tucker. Who was this? Ryan Anderson is who it was. But yeah, it's very, very expensive. So you don't want to be locking these in just for the 25 tokens. It may look good on paper with the 25, but it's definitely not worth it. Moments challenges, moments cards. You can't lock these in for tokens, so nothing to note there. Onto the throwback sets, and as you can see, I'm pretty much on everyone at the moment. We've completed everyone that has been released, and we've only got four left, so we've got two more sets of two that they're gonna release to complete. And for each of these, you do only get 15 tokens because they are smaller sets, but it's definitely worth doing, especially when the first sets first come out. Everyone rips packs, everyone sells them off, trying to get an easy, quick sale, and you can get some nice, easy sets completed for these. So definitely one to stay on top of, because the longer you leave it, the more expensive these sets are going to get. Because the longer they're out of packs, the more people that are going to lock them in, the less supply there's going to be of them, and of course, the more demand there's going to be. So definitely pick these up as soon as you can. Stay on top of them. They're a nice little token earner when they do get released, of course. Two teams, so it is 30 tokens per set that they do release. So it's very nice and easy to lock in. Moving down here, we do get some more stuff from Domination. So you get all of these arenas, East and West. So that's another easy 20 tokens. Same as the logo, so that's another 20 tokens. So 40 tokens for the two of them, and that goes hand in hand with Domination. And so do the Association, which is another 20 and 20, and the Icon, which is another 20 and 20. So 80 tokens 
as an extra for completing domination absolutely fantastic you might be wondering why i don't have these done that's because at the start of the game when they were very expensive i sold off all of these as soon as i completed domination made a lot of mt but i am starting to buy them back now as you can see i only need a few in the association ones just because i want to start obviously getting to more tokens getting myself as close as i can to that galaxy opal board moving on of course the premium sets don't give tokens as rewards they just give players so nothing to really note on them the actual uniforms themselves now there are a lot of these in the game but none of them give any rewards and none of them give any tokens so like, you might see these nicks they've got 24 of these but no point collecting them because you're not going to get any tokens for doing them same with the shoes no collection rewards for them but moving down to the miscellaneous section coaches again nothing arenas you get nothing playbooks you get nothing historic logos you get nothing balls you get some ball rewards so again no token rewards on them and you do come down to the earned and city jerseys which have been new additions to the game since it was released at the start of september so the city uniforms as you can see here i am starting to make a bit of inroads with them some of them are quite expensive so i haven't been going too crazy on them i've just been taking my time i'm in no rush to complete these but i do want to get them done and to be fair a lot of these kits are very nice indeed so i only need seven more to complete both sides of these and there'll be another 20 tokens to the collection and then the earned jerseys now these were the latest addition to the game only eight of them in each conference and they do give 20 tokens so 40 tokens for 16 jerseys that is fantastic value and i did get these done for quite cheap thankfully as same as i did with the 2019 collection when they released all of these packs and managed to pick up a lot of these for very very cheap a couple of them were still very expensive i think the most i paid was probably for this heat jersey which was like 8k i think but the rest of them you can get for quite cheap a few of them expensive but a few of them very nice and cheap and that is pretty much how I've done it. Of course, you want to stay on top of all the locker codes that 2K do release. There's one that's out at the moment, which I managed to get 20 tokens from, is the Kobe pack one. So it was either Kobe pack, 7K MT, or 20 tokens. And I aimed for the 20 tokens, and I got those 20 tokens. So I was very happy to get that. So at the moment, my day-to-day -day is just getting more of these jerseys and more of the CC jerseys as well. So that'll give us an extra 40, uh, 20 MT, <laughs> not MT, 20 tokens, 40 tokens, 60 tokens. So we'll be sitting on 320 tokens. Very nice indeed. Getting towards halfway to being towards that Galaxy Opal board. So I hope this did help a few of you guys out. Let me know down below what tier you are in in the reward board. And if you're on the Galaxy Opal board, who are you going to go for first? Because I think I'm probably going to save my tokens for the time being. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.